Hey guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we got this E100 scooter. Uh, I don't have a charger for it, but it will, when you flip the switch on down under there, the light kicks on. But it doesn't work. So, I thought we'd mess around with that. There's a reason why I got that. And motor sounds a little shady in it. But I also have another one. So, the motor sounds better in this one. No, this one sounds okay. This one's pretty rough. This one does not kick on. I'll tell you why I got these here in just a minute. Stick around. Okay guys, so see this one you can tell has been apart. See the head's getting stripped. Screws missing. Uh, I got these because there's, you know, brake levers, some good piping here, and these little tiny front tires are pneumatic, 200 by 50s. All right, so they're very small, but they're cool. So like I said, there's some cables, some wiring, uh, but I got them, like I said, I can, uh, you know, those, those are neat little front tires I can use for a future project. But I wanted to check the batteries in these things and see what kind of shape they're in. See if I can do anything with the batteries. See, that kicks on. And they call it a kickstarter because what you're supposed to do, who knows, maybe we'll get one running just for fun. It'll never pull us around. But what you're supposed to do, your twist throttle is right here. You twist that and you're supposed to kick it off. But if I turn that, turn that throttle, and go like that that's supposed to keep spinning and it doesn't okay well let's turn it on and check it nothing so what we're going to do so we're going to take these screws out take this top off here see what kind of batteries it has uh, i believe this is 24 volts so there should be two 12 volt batteries in here so let's go ahead let's take this top off of here and see what other kind of goodies are inside here yep two 12 volt batteries Now, I'm not going to fix these up because you can buy these things for like 50 bucks new online. So, you know, two of these batteries you can get fairly cheap. They're like 30 bucks, but, you know, I mean, why would you, right? So, what we're going to do, we're going to check these batteries out and see if any of them's any good. Move this out of the way. There's the controller, the control box. Yep, 24 volt. I got a multimeter over here. We're going to check these batteries out. All right, let me get my multimeter set up here. 
you'll see what the batteries are putting out. This has been out because it's loose or someone was going to take it out. Ugh. All right. Let me get these unhooked and we'll check the batteries. Okay guys, so I got this unhooked. This goes into the uh, the circuit breaker. And then we got our black wire running up into this one. So let's see what we got here. These have glue on them, just hot glue to keep them from shorting out against anything. Turn our meter on. So this battery here is reading good 12.81 now we're going to check the other battery let's get this one unhooked so we're going to go into This is negative. I'm gonna go in here and positive. We'll go in here and it's reading good. Looking like twelve point six eight. So these batteries are reading good so why is this thing not running I don't know uh, like I said I know some guys take these apart and they do away with the kickstarting part of it um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put get this unplugged there we go we're going to put a negative and a positive onto this and see if that back motor spins then we'll know if it's something in this uh, the brake has a switch in it too that if you hold the brake you can't take off okay so you know it could be something there I don't know but we have two good batteries here. That's good. I'm not sure if these are glued together or what. But anyway, someone's had this out and apart. So we're going to try to get this. Well, we should be able to power it from these two batteries so a positive will, will go here now let me get a jumper wire now wait a minute let's see if it will turn on 12 volts could just be a bad but are these things really worth fixing? It, it just depends. They're so cheap. I mean, for me, I can't fix it and resell it. But I wanted the parts out of it. And these two main factors right here, these batteries I can use in other projects. So let me, uh, let's see. Let me see if we can get this into 12 volts. And then we'll try to start this, this see if this motor will turn. Okay, so I took the back wheel off. I didn't have you recording, but when I hooked this motor up to 24 volts, it started getting hot and smoking in here. So let's see if we can get this back wheel apart. See what's inside of here. Just kind of curious as if, if, uh, as to if I can get use out of these little electric motors.
Yeah, I've never had one of these apart, so I don't know. Um, let me grab a little screwdriver. Okay, got me a little screwdriver here. Bunch of plastic gears in here. I'm still, that motor's still hot and I only touched it for a second. Looks like these gears are very worn down. But they might not be, I don't know. Now how's this motor come out of here? That motor's still hot. I don't even have it hooked up. Just one wire. I don't have the negative hooked up on it, so. I don't know if this has got to come out or what. Well, let's go ahead and take these off. Like I said, it's really not a fix a motor. It's just we're trying to see what we can use out of these things. And so far, we've got two good batteries. Might be able to use them in the in the barbecue grill. Motor still warm. Uh huh. So these stick into here. These do. But I don't see that motor turning bunch of little tiny clips there I really don't want to take them off because they usually have a habit of flying off into God knows where so that's how that turns okay let me study this more See if I can get that motor out of there. It's interesting to learn, you know. All right, hang tight, guys. Okay, guys. So I get the I get this tore down. I got the motor apart. Man, I don't know if you guys can see this gear. It's a brass gear. Look how much that plastic has worn that brass off. So, I think what it was, was the motor got locked up and didn't uh, and couldn't turn, so somebody kept pushing on it and just stripped the gears out. But we have a good 24 volt motor now. Very, very powerful motor. That's good. So we got two 12 volt batteries that are good. We've got a 24 volt motor that is good. We can build projects. And like I said, the front tires are pneumatic. They're air tires, so they're cool because, you know, they're just, I mean, the rim's not much bigger around than this pop can. So, that's good. I got a cable. I got a little tiny brake system if I want to use it, but main thing is I got a cable. So there we go. Um, now what I'm going to do is hook this up and see if we can uh, see if we can get this thing to to work the way it's supposed to, kind of. I mean, it's not going to run because the gears are all stripped. But, you know, then we can see see what we got going on with the other one. And that'd be cool if we got more stuff that we can use out of it. Just hooking these back up right now. And I got all these connectors. These are nice to use on different things. So 
so yeah um, let me see where's the other now we should be able to just hook this into here and this is bypassing that uh, that switch the uh, circuit breaker okay now I don't know how I'm going to be able to push this because I'm, I'm going to have to do that <laughs> and try to twist this at the same time so this could get interesting guys this, this could be a funny video alright that's still not working now I know inside of here there's a way shoot, that you can bypass that kickstart switch thing it's, see, it's got to turn so many times so it knows you're on it. I can't believe them plastic gears wore that... wore that gear down as bad as it did. That's... that's crazy. Alright, let me find a safe way to do this without chopping a finger off. Okay guys, so here's what we got. Of course we got the two 12 volt batteries over here. They're good. Got a nice little light light up light switch for something. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep this thing. These uh these always come in handy for something. This is the electronic box. It's got a bunch of little tiny fuses and uh stuff inside there these are rubber good isolators for say batteries or uh, putting a gas tank in something when you're building something I'm gonna keep the motor I'm not sure how I'll get that I think I got a little puller I can get that gear off of there I'm gonna keep this you never know I mean if anything there's a couple good nuts on there um, got a nice little circuit breaker there and nice little charging thing you plug your charger into so that's cool I've got these or this you know this is nice these plugins when you're building something or hooking something up uh, the plastic gears I'm not going to keep but I think I am going to keep this wheel it's plastic but this is kind of a rubberized plastic here and then of course we got the frame over here then I'm going to pull the, uh, I'm going to keep the frame, I'm keeping the frame and everything, but I will pull the cables off so they don't get rusty and all that stuff. And there's a little switch inside that handbrake there, a little micro switch, and they've still got all, whoa, they've still got all the connectors on them, little plug-ins. Those are handy as hell. Um, and then the little throttle switch, it's just kind of a switch, you know, it's on or off. So that can come in handy for something. So I'll take that stuff off of there. The frame I'll put out back by the shed. Um, like I said, uh, those that tire is a pneumatic tire. It is air filled. So with the other one, I will have two of them. Who knows? Uh, maybe I can, you know, put wheelie bars on something. You know, maybe I'll build a fast go-kart and put wheelie bars on it or something like that. Or maybe if I start pulling that and the garden tractor pulls, I can put a set of wheelie bars on it. But those wheels will be good for that. So what I'm going to do, so I got a lot of good stuff out of that. Now I'm going to take the other one apart and I'm going to put... Shoot, sorry guys. And I'm gonna I'm gonna take this apart and I'm gonna check the batteries in it and see if they're okay. Um if they're not I'll try to bring them back to life, but it's not a big deal if they're not. I got two good ones there. Those are awesome. I you know I could future projects man I can do all kinds of stuff with this, with this thing, you know so 
and I'll charge them up before I put them away. So this one, same thing. I'm just going to take these screws out of here. I figure sounds like bad gears to me because I don't I don't think that motor's turning. But anyway, let's get this apart and check the batteries. Now I forgot to tell you, there's a little bearing down inside of there in this back wheel here. A little tiny bearing. That could be useful too. Okay guys, so I got the batteries out of this one. Let's check it. So we're gonna get our red wire from the battery and the black wire from the battery here. So let's put this in the red wire. And we'll put the negative in the black wire up here. Twelve point two five volts. That one's good. <laughs> All right. I love stuff like this. Now we're gonna put our negative. Doesn't really matter on this. It'll just read. It'll say minus. But I got in the habit of red on red. You know. Okay. So let's see. We got negative here going to go on this wire and we've got our plus it's going to go here and we are reading 1.88 I mean 11.88 so I'm going to put these on the charger and see if we can revive them uh, but first Let's check. Let's see if this motor is any good. Uh, let me see. Okay, let's unplug the motor. All right. Uh, now we're going to hook the motor directly into this. So what we're going to do is we're going to hook the positive to the positive. There should be enough to spin this wheel. All right. Positive to the positive. We're going to hook negative to the negative. Now we're going to jump these two together. It should be 24 volts. All right, so let's do this and let's see if the motor is any good. It is. Of course, the gears don't sound that great. That's to be expected. But this one, I even tried the other batteries that we took out of the other one and the switch doesn't light up so and I bypass the uh, the uh, the circuit breaker didn't make any difference so I don't know but anyway yeah this is a uh, so this is going to be more good parts here too so um, but I'm gonna put these on the charger see if I can get them up to 12 volts well, it should be close to 13 or over. Okay, guys, so I pretty much salvaged everything else. Everything out of this one that I salvaged out of the other one. Got my little bearings there. Don't sound the greatest, but, you know, they're all right. This one's really good. This motor's got some issues inside of it there. It looks like a magnet has come loose. That could have been a problem with this one. But I can fix that. But this one here... And what's cool is, you know, this will make a nice little mount. I can cut it. It's plastic if I want to mount it on something. There's also another bearing here. So, 
that's what the wheel ran around but you never know might be able to use it for something um, I've got the other batteries charged one of them has come up to um, 13 point let me check that out so I don't give you a wrong answer here the one is 13.24 uh, and the other one is 13.22 so I'm going to charge these up the same way now what I'm thinking is if I can't revive the batteries in that scooter that I use for the uh, for the barbecue grill the smoker so I can move it around because it's, it's never going to be ridden on long term it's just going to be used to move around here um, it pushes pretty easy but it's kind of neat just to push the buttons forward and reverse so what I can do is I'll run two of these parallel which will be there's 12 volt 12 volt you run parallel you get 12 volt but you get a, tr a strong 12 volt so I'll do that on both sets so I'll have four batteries but I'll have and they're not very big these are both of these put together is smaller than one in that scooter so I can have so if I do that with both of these I'll have two strong 12 volts and then they'll run in series from there which will make it 24 volts um, so and that'll work just for around here and it'll work off of its own charger so I'll be careful with that thing um, yeah so that's cool I'm going to put these on the charger, see what I get out of them. But, yeah, I mean, I love doing stuff like this, guys, you know. Just uh, little things like this makes me happy. You know, I've got them, you know, I've got them two rocker switches. Um, one of them didn't light up. Well, I checked it. It's still good. It's just the light inside of it, so it's no big deal. And the other one that did light up, quit lighting up. So that's not a big deal either it still works so there's still two good rocker switches I've got two good um, circuit breakers I've got one definite good motor I've got uh, two good small bearings two good huge bearings uh, I've got all these these connectors I've got the both switches are good I checked them on the uh, on the handle like I said they're just an on and off switch um, and there's a little micro switch in the brake handle that can be used if I build something and I need that brake handle that can be used as a brake light as well um, so yeah I got a lot of good stuff and I'm really excited about that and I got the frames you know the metal frames that's good metal I've sprayed them down with uh, with the uh, with WD-40 here I've sprayed them down so they won't rust uh, I will have them covered up though because that's good metal you need to cut a little piece of metal out of something I need some round hollow stock there it is and I've got the two good air tires and wheels so I can use them for something. I've got the both brake cables. Really cool, man. I mean, if I wanted to, you know, I could put both them wheels on one scooter and just, you know, it could just be a push scooter and it would have brakes. But um, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna use them for parts. Um, so yeah, that would be, yeah, so all this stuff will come in handy for me, you know, um, on future projects. So I've got to get this stuff put up, and um, I've got a little container in here. I'm going to put all the little stuff in, you know, and all that stuff. And also, these will make a good battery tray if I decide to build something that takes a battery. That takes the batteries who knows it's just the possibilities are endless right but it's just it's great fun you know when you have nothing in something and you know I'll, I'll check it out and see see what I can find out what this these parts would cost if I had to buy these parts that I was going to you know make a, a like the batteries if I was going to 
you know, do a project, I'll see how much they would cost me if I went and bought all this stuff. Okay, because the batteries are good. Uh, those ones are charged, fully charged, so they can be put up. These ones, I'm going to be, I'll fully charge them. But I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I think I will, I'll make a video on it, and we'll try to get these four batteries to work in that scooter. That should be pretty fun. And if, it's, if I'm not happy with it, I've still got four good 12 volt batteries that for, you know, for projects. So I think one of the batteries is still good in that scooter. Because when you turn a light on, it's dim. It comes on, but it's dim. So I can't remember which one it was, but if you charge them individually with the 12 volt charger with the with my battery charger here for the car for a car not the car <laughs> uh, if you charge them individually if you trickle charge them overnight individually uh, they will take a charge and they'll hold a charge for about a week um, one of them will hold a charge a lot longer um, it, it holds charge real good the other one like I said about a week it starts dropping down to about 11.8 so but so this you know this is future project stuff here and I'm, I'm really excited that I've got this stuff you know the rocker switches you never know putting a light in something or whatever I've got a switch for it now uh, so that's pretty cool you know I've got a circuit breaker if I need a circuit breaker uh, I've got one good definite motor the other one I think I can fix it but one's definite needs nothing it's a good motor put a gear on it a pulley uh, run something. I don't know these things you can you can turn them and they'll they'll generate electricity uh, so You know Maybe I'll make it I'll, I'll make a little windmill or something or you know who knows um, Future projects uh, Just just to come in and, and grab something. I you know, I need a piece of wire I need something that I may have to take off again later so instead of splicing it direct you know here we go we've got this I can use the plug and good to go so all right guys that's all I got for you for today uh, New Year's coming up so I hope everyone has a happy New Year we'll probably be doing something New Year's Eve uh, we're, t we're thinking about going live so we'll see and uh, anyway guys Shea Bear the myth the man the legend I'm gone for now Appreciate you watching. Thanks for hanging out with me today. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, guys, and take care.